So hello everyone. Um, it is my great pleasure to welcome Dr. Ziwang Zhang from the uh, School of uh, Physics in uh, Nanjing University in China. And uh, Dr. Zhang will uh, speak about a very novel and uh, exciting topic, the Valley Hall Topological Acoustics. So Dr. Zhang, please. Okay, thank you very much, Bogdan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Although it has been night in China, but maybe, and maybe I will fall asleep during my presentations. But don't worry, I will try my best not to. Uh, I am very honored and proud to have this opportunity to speak at this webinar. Today, I would like to present a topic about valley for topological acoustics. Uh, please allow me to introduce myself a little bit. Uh, my name is Zhi Wang Zhang. Now I'm a postdoctoral researcher in Nanjing University in China, which is also where I got my PhD degree under the supervision of Professor Yin Chen and Professor Xiao Jun Liu. Uh, during 2018 to 2019, I was a joint PhD student in Universidad Carlos del Cerro de Madrid in Spain under the supervision of Professor Johan Christensen. And I have spent a uh, great time with the group. And my research interests include uh, acoustic metal materials and uh, topological acoustics. Uh, in this talk, I will start with a brief introduction on very projected topological physics and then discuss our recent works in this topic, which include the experimental realization of topological acoustic dealing line, the directional acoustic antenna, the topological insulator by using subwavelength soda cans, and the non-hermitian topological whispering gallery. Finally, I will make a short conclusion and some acknowledgements will be emphasized. Uh, now let's start with the background part. Uh, topology is a branch of mathematics uh, concerning with quantities that are preserved under continuous deformations. For example, a spoon can be continuously deformed from a sphere, and a cup can be continuously deformed from a donut. Setting the number of the holes as a topological environment, the sphere and the donut belong to different topology. The topological phase transition must happen during the deformations between the sphere and the donut. In 2016, the Nobel Prize is awarded to three great scientists for their theoretical discoveries of topological phase transitions. Uh, as one of the most important discoveries, uh, Topological insulator is insulating the bulk, but conducting on the edge. This movie is an example on the quantum Hall effect, where the, we can see the electrons transport along the boundary. Uh, the normal insulator exhibits complete band gaps, and the topological environment chain numbers is zero. To achieve the topological insulator, one way is to break the time reversal symmetry. In this way, a quantum Hall insulator can be realized with non-zero chain numbers. Additional to breaking the time reversal symmetry, the inherent spin orbital coupling of a material can also give rise to the quantum spin Hall insulators. Uh, also, we can use the valley properties to achieve the valley selective topological insulators, which is characterized by the valley chain numbers. Uh, valley refers to two energy extrema of the band structure in momentum space. So in this talk, we will focus on the last case, the time reversal environment, environment quantum valley hall insulator. And hexagonal two-dimensional crystals such as graphene exhibit a pair of degenerate bands at kappa and kappa prime values in momentum space. The valley electrons are characterized by non-trivial barrier curvatures, which give rise to the valley hall effect. Uh, through breaking the evolving symmetry, the Dirac degeneracy can be broken, and the barrier curvature in different valleys host the opposite sign, as this red curve shown here. Furthermore, the domain wall between AB and BA stacked bilayer graphene can support chiral edge states of quantum valley hall insulators. Then it's narrow to think uh, if we could achieve the analogous valley hall topological insulators in classical acoustic systems. 
which may provide the potential to enable promising routes to design integrated acoustic device. So the ideal platform coming, uh, coming into mind is the acoustic metal materials, which has been widely used to obtain acoustic hyperlens, waveguide, filter, cloaking, directional em uh, emission, imaging, and so on. Uh, the advantages of a uh, large-scale inbox time and space, mm, easier fabrications and measurements, and more accurate modulations make it possible to observe the intriguing analogous quantum phenomena in acoustic system, which may be uh, difficult to be realized in condensed matter physics. So, uh, in 2017, Professor Chen Yinchu and Professor Chen Yu Lu's group firstly proposed a method to achieve the acoustic valley states. A two dimensional sonic crystal was built uh, based on the triangular lattice. The lack of the inversion symmetry could lift the dracon and achieve two uh, extrema at the corners of the first brilliant zone, which are called uh, valleys here. Later on, they experimentally realized the topological valley projected edge states along the uh, domain wall between two sonic crystals with different valley hole faces. Furthermore, the valley topological phase in bilayer sonic crystals was studied, where the topological edge states propagating in different layers can be modulated accordingly. Uh, besides in acoustics, the valley hole topological acoustic uh, insulators were also extended to other classical systems, such as the, in the photonics, uh, in elastics, and also in water waves. Uh, based on the above mentioned background, we are thinking if we could find other intriguing phenomena in valley hole acoustic systems, or and if we could achieve the potential applications in the next generation of acoustic device. So next, I'm going to introduce our first work on this topic about the topological acoustic delay line. Uh, first, we design a triangular uh, sonic lattice composed of three leg rigid roads. We demonstrate that the topological valley hole phases can be tunably modulated by changing the orientation of the roads, which may be con uh, conducted by the computer controlled motors or other methods. Uh, as shown in the middle band diagram here, the kappa and kappa prime points possess the coexist threefold rotational symmetry and the invariant symmetry, which results in the appearance of the dual cones at the corners of brilliant zone. The lack of the invariant symmetry by rotating the roads to other angles could lift the degeneracy and open a band gap as shown in other two band diagrams here. Then the valley states appear, and the corresponding pseudo spins can be observed through the sound intensity, which is illustrated by these black arrows in the field plot and also in these uh, movies. Note that compared with the previous works on valley hole effect, uh, where the equilateral uh, triangular roads are used, our proposed structure uh, possesses 1.5 times wider band gap. It is an uh, optimization by modulating the geometry, actually. Uh, the topological phase transition can be characterized by Velich number. Velich number is defined as the integral of the barrier curvature over the one half of the first brilliant zone. In this case, it can be also written as the relation with the geometry perturbation, delta P here. Delta P is negative when the three leg road is erected and is positive when the road is upside down. As a result, the non zero valley number difference across this domain wall verifies the existence of the topological edge states. Uh, from the experimental transmission, we observe that sound waves propagate along the domain, domain wall without backscattering. We further measure the amplitude distribution along this red dashed line here. Uh, the results are shown in figure E and F. Uh, we emphasize that because of the special shape of the road, the edge state is tightly confined at the interface with a full width at, at half maximum of 1.2 times of the lattice constant, which is dramatically reduced compared with the previous weeks works and is very important for designing the acoustic applications.
Uh, as one of the smoking guns of topological protection, we further study the robustness against three kinds of defects, including the bands, disorders, and the cavities. From the simulated field plots, and this is the experimental transmissions, we can conclude that sharp bands induce very little backscattering, but disorders and cavities induce the intervalley scattering and decrease sound transmission. As a result, we demonstrate that there is a trade-off between the simplicity of the structure and the robustness of the topological insulators. The reconfigurability of the structure is the cornerstone behind current acoustic functional devices and metamaterials. Uh, to further demonstrate the actual proof of concept based on the reconfigurable topological edge states, here we conceptually proposed an acoustic topological switch here. As we can see, parts of the roads uh, highlighted by black color here can be mounted onto a computer-controlled motors acting as a control region. As a result, the topologically protected pathway can be easily modulated by routing the roads in this control region only. For example, the sound waves transmit through port 1 once the rotation angle in this control, control region is 30 degrees or the sound wave would transmit through port 2 with the rotation angle of uh, negative 30 degrees. Based on the above mentioned advantages of tunability, uh, non scattering propagations, robust against sharp bands, uh, wide working frequency range, and the tightly confined edge states, we could design the topological acoustic delay line here. The fastly defects are introduced in form of a square-shaped detour with four sharp bands that generates a time delay of tau here, which is defined by the delayed, line, uh, delayed length divided by the velocity. And then we experimentally measure the time delay through one or two detours and compare it with the uh, simulated results, which show very good agreement. In the third part of the talk, I'm going to introduce our work on the sonic valley for topological antennas. Um, aquatic animals like dolphins can produce directional acoustic wave beams for detecting or tracking prey with uh, high resolution in a bland and noisy environment. But unlike dolphins, the function of humans' acoustic communication system brings forth some emission or reception of poor directivity. To overcome this disadvantage, a positive loudspeaker and microphone array system have been developed to achieve beamforming with a, a signal processing system. And the other way to solve this problem is to use the acoustic metamaterials, which is a passive method. For example, Devices based on the phononic crystal and locally resonant metamaterials have been demonstrated to achieve directional sound emission here. However, the specific flat equifrequency contour of uh, the sonic crystals and the resonant characteristics in metamaterials fundamentally limit the achievable beam width and working frequency range. In addition, the duplex diverse devices both with the ability to uh, emit and receive signals uh, remain a challenge. So we aim to achieve a duplex acoustic antenna based on the very hot topological insulators. Here we start with a Kagoma lattice uh, composed of some rigid roads embedded in air. We introduce the lattice deformation to break the symmetry and obtain two inverted topological phases. The first situation is to shrink the distance between trimmers in the unit cell, and the other one is to enlarge the distance. From these two uh, band diagrams, we can observe the value states at corners of the first brilliant zone, and from the distributions of the acoustic intensity field, as shown by these uh, black arrows, uh, uh, the value pseudo spins with opposite chiralities can be observed. We note that uh, when the trimmers are erected in the uh, lattice, the, the acoustic vortex at Kappa Valley is uh, clockwise polarized at the lower state and counterclockwise polarized at higher uh, valley state. But for the upside down case, this scenario is 
opposite leading to an inverted band structure. This kind of band inversion indicates the topological value of phase transition here. Uh, according to the book edge correspondence, the topological value projected edge states will appear along the interface between the two regions uh, with different topological value of phases, which can be confirmed by this uh, dispersion relations of the ribbon structure. Here, uh, there are two kinds of interfaces. We name it as negative one and positive ones here. And we further experimentally measure the transmission of the topological edge states with all without the defects. Uh, this is uh, experimental data and which show uh, good robustness against the sharp bands. Then we fo focus on the directional emission into free space of the outcoupled uh, edge states along the negative type interface first. Uh, as we observed from the previous dysphoric relations, we found that sound waves that are launched from left to right are projected from Kappa Valley. To illustrate the refraction of the radiative beam, the equifrequency curve in free space, like this black dashed circle show, and the first brilliant zone are illustrated in K space. By matching the pyroline component of the incident wave vector onto the equifrequency curve of the free space, one is able to find the propagation direction of the radiated beam, as labeled by this red arrow here. From this box, we found that the theoretical, simulated, and experimentally measured results show good agreements, and the half-power beams is just 9.72 degrees. And in figure C, we also experimentally verify that this uh, directional radiation works in the entire topological band gap. Similarly, for the positive type interface, uh, sound waves that are launched from left to right are projected from the kappa prime valley instead. According to the conservation of the momentum, the radi uh, radiation angle is calculated as 7.47 degrees here. We also experimentally verify that this uh, phenomenon work well in the entire topological band gap. Then we introduce two kinds of perturbations inside the device, which are sharp bands here and randomly lo located cavities formed by re removing some roads. Uh, for, si uh, for simplicity, only the edge states projected by Kappa Valley along the negative type interface is discussed here. Uh, based on the experimentally detected spectral relation between the acoustic energy and the directional angle, uh, as shown here, we conclude that the, radi uh, the radiation energy and the directivity are robust against these two kinds of perturbations within the band gap. Uh, to, an uh, to analyze the influence uh, introduced by the size of uh, our proposed topological antenna, we calculate the far field radiation pattern of the antenna with different size. First, when the transverse length is reduced, the energy amplitude and radiative directions maintain perfect will. However, it will have significant influence on the topological antenna when the longitudinal width is reduced because of the linking energy from the bulk to the free space here. Next, we utilize the proposed uh, uh, device to receive sound from the target point source, while the sound from other directions will be rejected. When the wave vector of incoming sound in free space satisfies the uh, phase matching conditions to a specific value, the corresponding projected edge modes can be excited, which results in the sound signal detection. Here, taking the uh, positive type interface, for example, the, uh, the point source emitting sound at 8.66 kHz is placed at 7.47 degrees and is able to excite the edge state projected by the Kappa Valley. But the sound signal from other point sources placed away from these degrees are not allowed to enter the antenna via its interface. We also did the experiment in the entire topological band gap to verify the above phenomenon. The proposed topological acoustic antenna can be used in anti-interference acoustic communications to pick up the 
pocket signal from the background noise. Here, the, we also uh, take the positive type interface, for example. Uh, in the experiment, the uh, external interference source really in the broadband white noise to mask the uh, target signal is placed at the angle of minus 67.47 degrees. And one point source with a frequency of 8.66 kilohertz is placed at the seven degrees to act as the target signal here. From the detect time domain and frequency domain signals at point A, which is at the outside of the device, we find that the target signal is drawn inside the noise. However, with the uh, topological antenna, the signal detected at point B show that the target signal is well received by the proposed device. In the fourth part of my talk, I'm going to introduce our work on the acoustic value for topological insulators by using the subwavelength soda cans. Uh, first, we start from, with the single Helmholtz like uh, soda can resonator. The resonant frequency of the soda can is experimentally measured near uh, 400 Hz and 1442 Hz, respectively. Uh, to achieve the single jarcon, which is a necessary condition uh, to achieve the topological value whole phase. So the honeycomb metal material lattice composed of the soda cans embedded in air is constructed, and the unit cell contains two soda cans preserving the mirror symmetry here. Uh, from the band diagram shown by the uh, gray circles, uh, which may be not very clearly here, uh, the dark cones can be observed at the corners of the brilliant zone near both the first and second order resonance. Note that both dark cones are located below the sound line. Here the sound line is labeled, uh, is labeled by the blue dashed curve. It confirms the propagation of the spoof surface acoustic waves confined to the soda can areas. Uh, to open the band gap and achieve the valid states, we break the mirror symmetry uh, through injecting water into cans to introduce the height difference between two cans in a unit cell, which can be defined as this daughter H. Thus, the paired uh, valid states appear, and the valid pseudo spins can be observed. Uh, just ab above the soda can areas. Here, K1 and K2 are for the valid states at lower frequency range, and K3, K4 are for the higher frequency one. The vortex correlatives of the corresponding valid states will be inverted if the inverse symmetry is intro introduced uh, oppositely. For example, when the height difference delta H equal to negative 0.2 cm is introduced here. The lower value states near the first order resonance possesses the right handed circular uh, polarizations, while the higher value state hosts the left handed circular polarizations. However, if the invariant symmetry is introduced oppositely with the delta H equal to 0.2 cm, the uh, polarizations of the value states will be totally totally inverted, which indicates the topological value of phases transition happened. Uh, this process can be clearly observed from the bottom two panels, where the eigenfrequency evolution of the value states depending on delta H at copper point is illustrated here. Uh, the corresponding topological value numbers can be calculated according to the reduced equations here, and the existence of the topological edge states is protected by the non-zero value numbers across the interface. The above results are further verified by the dispersion of the re uh, rainbow structure here. But note that soda can metal material lattice with a perturbation of delta H equal to 0 0.2 centimeter is uh, distorted to a relatively large level, which leads to the existence of the gapped valley projected edge states. And we can see that the same perturbation has a stronger influence on the edge states around the second order resonance. Uh, to experimentally verify the existence of the topological edge states, when we uh, construct a metal material lattice composed of 
uh, 12 times 12 sudokan areas as shown in this figure. And the structure with uh, opposite value whole faces, uh, which uh, consists, uh, uh, consists of uh, consists of uh, red and green soda cans are separated by a straight interface here. And in the simulations, one uh, monopole, monopolar point source, which is marked by the red star here, is placed at the left termination of the interface with a distance of 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.5 centimeter to the surface of the soda cans. And in figure B, uh, it illustrates the simulated absolute pressure fields. And then in the experiment, we measure the normalized sound energy along this red cut line in the middle of the metamaterial lattice. Uh, the result is shown in figure C, and we can find that the sound energy is highly confined uh, around the domain wall. We further measure the amplitude of the acoustic pressure fields along the Z direction away from one soda can as labeled by this uh, small yellow circle here, and the result is shown in figure D. These results uh, indicate that the acoustic field is indeed confined to the surface of the soda can areas and decays into the free space exponentially. Uh, it verifies the surface confined nature of the smooth surface acoustic wave propagating. Uh, to demonstrate the robustness against the shower bands, uh, we, intro uh, we introduced a 120 degree banded interface between two regions here. Uh, the simulated distributions of the pressure fields at frequency of 401.8 Hz indicate that the sound waves transport along the route without backscattering even when even the uh, sharp band is introduced here. In the experiment, we also measure the absolute pressure uh, profiles along this red cut line here. And this is the experimental data together with the simulated results. The agreement with the simulated and the experimental results verify the robustness of the topological edge states against the sharp bands. In figure C, we make a, 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 a much stronger defect, and we show also the good robustness against the sharp bands here. And next, uh, we combine the concept of non-hermeticity and vertical topological insulators and propose a non-hermitian topological whispering gallery to achieve the uh, analogous sound lazy mode here. Uh, in 1878, uh, Lord really observed the highly celebrated phenomena of sound waves that creep around the uh, curved gallery of St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Uh, these whispering gallery waves, waves uh, scatter efficiently with little diffraction around an enclosure and have since found applications in uh, ultrasonic uh, uh, fatigue and correct testing. Introducing the optic gain into the topological insulators, the topological laser that is in, insensitive to disorders has been proposed. Then the natural question is that if we could build the analogous topological lazy mode in acoustics, and if, we, if, if there are some uh, other intriguing phenomena in acoustic system. So on this basis, we start this project uh, three or four years ago. To obtain the amplified acoustic lazy mode, first we need to study the topological modes in lattices containing acoustic gain. In doing so, we theoretically introduce an active fluid layer with the thickness of T, whose imaginary component of the effective mass density is controlled through a non-hermeticity gain factor beta here. Uh, we consider a triangular sonic lattice composed of the rigid cylindrical trimmers, which are coated by uh, such kind of active layer. Similar to the above mentioned uh, topological antenna work, the Dirac uh, degeneracy is protected by C3V symmetry here, and it can be lifted under the lack of the invariant symmetry 
And in these band diagrams, we can uh, see the, uh, the, the, the these results. And in the band diagram, the colored circles and the black uh, curves represent the results calculated by the uh, finite element method and the KP perturbation method, respectively, uh, which agree very, very well. Then if we focus on the valid states K1 and K2 here, the, which is the first uh, valid state and the second one, uh, the negative imaginary part of the eigenfrequencies account for the sound amplifications. We further calculate the uh, the uh, real uh, the real band diagram of the ribbon structure here, which contains a domain wall between two lattices with opposite value hole faces, and re the real part verifies the existence of the topological error states in band gap, and here in Figure E. The imaginary counterpart indicates that the topological edge states undergo uh, some amplification along the interface in the presence of uh, presence of the gain. Then the next the biggest challenge is to realize such uh, the acoustic gain media. Although the lot speakers with appropriate gain circuits or the acoustic electric effect could do this job. But a more flexible and tunable approach has been proposed by employing the thermal acoustics where a fluctuating jaw heating is converted into sound. This electro thermal acoustic coupling has been proven to be notably efficient in uh, carbon, uh, carbon nanotube films. Um, the now we need to find a way to combine such CNT films with the uh, our Sony crystals, which is super tough and you know a much very uh, expensive process. Uh, we use the three dimensional operating uh, method to make the roads out of ABS plastic, including two voids, including two voids to act as the modes into which electrodes were cast, uh, which connect to the CNT films that were coated around. Uh, around the roads. Then the several roads were assembled into a triangular lattice and, mount, and mounted to an electrical circuit board. By carefully designing these circuits, we are able to control the phase and the amplitude of the sound waves emitting from these three roads in the unit cell independently, as shown in this figure. Before jumping into the finite, finite sonic crystals, we first study the characteristics of the, the single CNT films. We compare the uh, excitation properties of CNT films and the regular uh, paper basin speakers through experiments here. The acoustic and vibration signals were measured through a microphone and a laser vibrometer. We can clearly ob observe that acoustic pressure amplitudes are, most, are almost the same in both situations. However, the surface vibration displacement of the CNT films is almost zero, but not for the paper basin speaker. It verifies that the CNT films generates an acoustic signal through thermal acoustic couplings rather than the traditional surface vibrations. In addition, after coating the CNT films around the road, the traditional spreading of the, uh, this, this kind of road was measured at the frequencies within the band gap. The approximately uh, omnidirectional directivity confirms good uniformity of the curved CMT films. Then let's back to the finite sonic crystals composed of the erected tremors only here. As we just mentioned, we are able to electrically invoke a phase delay to each road in the unit cell. As, as can as we can see here with phi one, phi two, and phi three here. With the zero phase delay phi, as shown in Figure C, a a zero uh, relative phase radiating from each triangular edge can be observed, and the experimental data in Figure D show good agreement with the simulations. However, when the phase texture of phi equals to r uh equals to uh, 2 pi as shown in figure E. The acoustic edge emissions uh, uh, acquire equivalent relative phase advance 
uh, advancement of two third pi, as shown in this figure. And the experimental results also show the good agreement with the simulations. And these findings imply that an uh, appropriate gain texture within the lattice could control the edge emission properties, which is a cornerstone of non-emission chirosymmetry breaking, as we discussed in the following. Um, in this part, we built a finite uh, structure containing a triangular shaped domain wall between two topologically distinct regions, which forms a whispering gallery, which is robust against the disorders. Uh, considering the difficulty and the, the cost of the experiments, we just cut, cut eight layers of the roads around the domain wall with the CNT films. The bottom panel here shows the theoretical model of the device, and the whispering gallery can be regarded as a non backscattering acoustic waveguide, thanks to the uh, topological protection properties of the uh, topological edge states. After considering the introduced backscattering acoustic, uh, introduced the face texture, face texture file here, there exist three kinds of resonant modes with the wave, wave vector uh, K0, uh, K plus, and K minus here. For the case satisfying the situation with uh, K0, the clockwise and counterclockwise propagation modes coexist, coexist in the system, which behave like a breezy mode. From now on, we label the clockwise and counterclockwise as CW and CCW for uh, simplicity. Uh, so for the case with uh, K+, plus, only CCW mode exists. But for the case with K-, minus, uh, uh, only CW modes exist. To verify the above theory, we numerically calculate the amplification factor with the different gain phase texture. The amplification uh, is a ratio between the pressure amplitude along the whispering gallery and the one along the street domain wall. So here in this in the simulated results, the rainbow color here represents the sound intensity along x directions of the uh, lower domain wall uh, in the uh, whispering gallery here, which corresponds uh, to the uh, right ward or the left ward going waves, that is the CCW or CW modes here. As we can see that uh, with the gain phase texture of zero, only the Ankaro breathing mode exists. Increasing the phase texture to pi, other two whispering gallery Cairo modes appear. When the gain phase texture of 2 pi is introduced, the, we can find that the breathing mode are completely uh, suppressed with other two dominating in the system. And this is the uh, simulated results. And in this column, this is the experimental results. Um, we can see that the experimental results show good agreement with the simulations. But in this experiment, we cannot identify and separate these two different chiral whispering gallery modes, but in a later way, it will be solved. And from this movie, we can clearly observe the above mentioned CW and CCW chiral modes and also the Arcaro uh, uh, whispering breathing modes here. Uh, yes, it is very clear here. And these pictures are taken by a infrared thermal imager before and after the current input, which further demonstrate that the electrothermal effects. Uh, next, we study the robustness against the defects in simulations first. Uh, here we introduce three kinds of defects on the corner or the or the side regions as labeled by these uh, frames, which in include removing the CNT films, displacing the roads, and expanding the distance among trimmers. And from the uh, in here, the phase texture is two pi, and the simulated field distributions of CCW modes are plotted in the left uh, panels. 
And from the calculated amplification factors shown in the figure B, we found that the frequency and amplitude of both CW and CCW carrier modes uh, coincide well with the um, uh, with the unportable uh, results. From the above uh, group of the defects, we choose to fabricate three sets of the units containing displaced uh, cylinder uh, trimmers with shifts in the range from delta D from 0.04A to 0.1A. And uh, uh, identically defected unit cells were thus introduced at the corners and then after, afterwards at the edge of the whispering gary lattice. And six spectral measurements here of the application uh, amplification factors show a remarkable immunity to the added defects. Note that for the uh, even more pronounced perturbations, the, this uh, propagation van will vanish due to the uh, Anderson localizations. And as we just mentioned before, although we have experimentally measured the whispering gary modes through the spectral amplification factor before, but we cannot distinguish or identify the uh, chiralities inside the whispering gallery. Uh, we cannot see it like, like a light. So here, to solve this problem, we add a router to the topological whispering gallery isolator to make the outcoupling of the non-hermation whispering gallery modes through its two port here. This approach allows for the separation of the acoustic signals of opposite propagation chiralities. Uh, we demonstrate that the valid selective emission phenomena roots in the valid project physics at the specific frequency F minus, for example, here uh, with the V vector of uh, K minus, the exist CW modes are projected by Kappa valley. As shown here, as a result, the sound waves propagation are only allowed towards output one. Similarly, at the specific frequency f, f plus with the wave vector k plus and shown in this figure, the CCW modes are project, be, projected by kappa prime valley instead, and the sound waves can only propagate towards output 2. And then, by matching the uh, parallel component of the specific valley wave vector onto the equifrequency curve in the free space, the needle like superdirectional uh, sound emissions can be achieved. Now we can split uh, and identify the opposite chiralities in, in experiments. Uh, spectrally, we both compute and measure the pressure amplitude at both router ports here when the game phase texture is chosen to be 2 pi. Uh, we found that the CW whispering gallery mode at F minus show a remarkable peak when measured, oh, sorry, when measured at output 1 owing to the conservation of the CW angular momentum preserved at the router. By contrast, CCW polarized mode at F uh, plus only emerges at output 2. Thus, the analogous topological sound leasing mode can be achieved as shown in these bottom panels. We found that when the texture is, phase texture is zero, the only existence Bracing mode are outcoupled towards the uh, two directions at the same time, as this uh, beam shown here. However, for the gain phase texture of 2 pi, the CW and CCW mode can be efficiently outcoupled out to uh, either of the, uh, the outputs and achieve the tunable needle like super directional emissions. Finally, uh, please allow me to make a short conclusion and some acknowledgements. Uh, to sum up, we achieved the acoustic value for topological insulators in triangular lattice through breaking the C3V symmetry and the honeycomb lattice through breaking the mirror symmetry. And we designed and experimentally realized the value physics, physics based uh, acoustic functional devices such as acoustic delay line and the directional antenna. And at last, by engineering specific non-hermeticity textures to the activ activated routes, we are able to break the chiral symmetry of the whispering error modes 
which in, uh, enable the outcoupling of the topological or dualism modes with the desired uh, hand handedness. And here, in the end, I want to acknowledge the support from National Natural Science Foundation of China, uh, China Scholarship Council, China Postural, uh, Postdoctoral Science Foundation, European Research Council, and also the great support from Nan University and Universidad Carlos uh, del Cerro de Malin. And thank you very much for your kind attention. And if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ziwang. Uh, very nice talk, very interesting, and lots of results, lots of uh, nice work. Uh, I'm sure that there are some more questions, so please uh, raise your hand or just unmute yourself and uh, we can have uh, can put your question to Ziwang. Uh, 